Hey, this is Kim. And this is Amanda from Put A Cup In It. And we're here to talk about the Nixit Minstrel Cup, or as we'd call it, the Minstrel Disc. If you've watched our videos before, discs are not our favorite things. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of a disc, it is worn completely differently than a Minstrel Cup. To use the Nixit Disc, simply fold it in half, insert long ways, tucking it back behind the cervix, and securing it behind the pubic bone. To remove, simply hook the rim of the disc, pull out, empty, wash, and reinsert. Now there are so many great options for reusable discs, whereas before it used to just be these um, plastic instead cups. So we're excited that other brands have been coming onto the scene with their reusable versions because some people just prefer discs. Amanda and I are not those people. However, I am happy to report that this review went much better than I had anticipated. And I have a lot of good feedback for the Nixit, although Amanda can give you her feedback and hers is not so great. I was really excited when I saw Nixit for the first time because I've tried other menstrual discs and none of them have ever worked for me. They've always been too firm and just plain uncomfortable. So I could tell by looking at the Nixit that it was definitely a softer disc and I really wanted to try it and I was hoping that I would finally have that one disc that I could recommend to people because it worked. Unfortunately, my experience with the Nixit did not lead me to a disc that works for me. Discs are great for many people, but apparently they just do not like to play well with my anatomy. In the past, I've found discs very uncomfortable, especially when removing them because they're so firm and fairly large. The Nixit isn't larger than other discs I've tried, but it is softer, and I think that somehow made it so that it couldn't really push the tissue out of the way to make a home in there, and I just wasn't able to get it in. The last cycle that I tried it on, I was able to sort of force it in, but it quickly came untucked from my pubic bone. It just unfortunately isn't a good fit for me. I'm pretty disappointed about that. Uh, thankfully, Kim had a better experience so she can offer a little more. I wanted to come back because everyone has been asking us, you know, have you tried the Nixit? Do you have a follow-up review? This disc worked so well. And I am very shocked to hear myself saying those words. I'm not a disc fan. The first time we attempted to use this, both of us were having some weird swelling issues. And I don't know why, we're just vagina twins because it, neither one of us were able to get the disc in. And so we defaulted to our normal menstrual cup set cycle. So this previous cycle, I was able to give it another go. I'm totally shocked how well the Nixit worked and how much I liked it. it was super comfortable. And I really didn't mind the removal and I didn't really mind. Now when you put in a disc, it is quite involved because you do have to insert a finger quite high inside your own vagina. I know people might be freaking out about that, you know, especially if you're coming from a tampon perspective, but you know, having switched from a tampon to a menstrual cup and then having tried discs in the past, that whole scene where I'm putting a finger completely up inside of myself doesn't bother me at all. The blood doesn't really bother me that much. I just wanna be in a space where if I am getting messy, I am able to clean myself up. It worked completely leak free for me. I didn't have to fiddle with it at all. So I did as I would normally do with the disc, you know, give it a good squeeze. In fact, um, because this has a softer rim than this style, um, and it's even a little bit softer than the Ziggy disc in terms of firmness, I think. Um, and the Luma, which is new, I haven't tried yet, but it's got a firmer rim. So for this one, because it's sort of hard to keep it really skinny, I ended up holding it long ways with two hands and kind of keeping it in. And then once I got in, I used this hand, got it as much as I could. And then of course it's still not, it's not like this because my vagina just wouldn't allow it to be that wide but then going in and pushing it up until it really felt like it was in place and never moved, which was not the case with Ziggy. I did have some slippage issues. This one really stayed in place. And I can't tell you if it's just, I've tried discs more, um, or if it is just the Nixit, just works re really well in the shape and the size for me. Uh, these are things that are hard to know because it's inside of a very dark hole and there's nothing more you can do besides just sort of feeling around in there. But it all just really clicked for me and totally perfect period. I'm really actually very surprised. One of the benefits of a disc is that it can be used during penetrative intercourse or any sort of penetrative toy play or whatever, you know, something going inside the vaginal canal because the disc sits at an angle and is not taking up the space like a cup, something going in can have space. 
So in that respect, again, that was successful for me. Same for Ziggy. Um, and when I removed it, there was blood in there when I removed it however many hours later. Um, and it didn't get on my partner and it did not leak. So mess free period sex, that was a, a check for the Nixit. Comfort was a total check. Um, removal, the earliest days of my period when it would be quite full, it was semi-messy, but I tried it in the shower that time. And because it stayed in place, I didn't have a public changing massacre like I did with the Ziggy disc. So I was able to do that whole successful, put it in the morning, let it go all day, dump it at home either in my shower or in the bathroom with you know very comfortable scenario, and then wash it and put it back in. There was one weird thing that happened where when I was having a bowel movement and the disc was in, there was blood in the toilet. And I'm like, oh shit, I dislodged the disc. And so I investigated after I washed my hands and everything seemed okay. And so I just went ahead and did my thing and never leaked. So it like emptied itself during a bowel movement and popped back into place somehow. That was kind of cool because I didn't have to deal with it and it never leaked. It's hard to tell like who a disc is good for. If you have a super low cervix, I think probably not because you want to be able to place it against the pubic bone and keep it in place without it slipping. Um, if you like cups and you just want to try a disc or if you love your cup but you want to be able to have penetrative intercourse on your super heavy days without throwing down the plastic sheeting, um, and this is everyone's personal preference. We get some hate mail about saying, you know, using discs for mess-free period sex. If that's what makes you comfortable, then you should put in a disc. The, the bad news on the Nixit just as a product is that it's quite expensive. It's $50. We did have a discount code, so I don't know when this video comes out if we'll still have it because they're kind of like, eh, we don't want to run this anymore. So um, we would love to give you guys a discount. If we have a discount to give you, we will give it to you because $50 is a lot. But... As far as discs go, if you really want one or you love them and you want a reusable version, the Nixit was super great. Again, anatomy based. My funny Nixit story though is that I had the Nixit inside and for whatever reason I decided I was going, oh, I remember, see I was drunk. I was drunk, we were having a party and I had an unplanned bowel movement, which is just not even a TMI thing on this channel. It's just a fact. I had an unplanned bowel movement. I was in my office bathroom, thank goodness, and not in the bathroom that's uh, where the party is on the main floor. And the disc was slipping because I was having a bowel movement. And the disc does slip for me, just like similar cups um, have slipped for me during bowel movements. And so I decided just go ahead and remove it, um, except it sort of removed itself. I can't quite remember, it was very blurry, but either I decided to remove it and dropped it, or it decided to remove itself and dropped in the toilet. So I had a bloody disc in a toilet. I just ran the water as hot as I could and just really like kept it under there to sanitize it as much as possible. And I did put it right back in. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling people that. I did. So if you're in an emergency situation, which many people have said this and they have pooped out their cups, or in this case, pooped out their disc and it falls into the toilet, um, just super hot water. And I did end up sanitizing it the next day when the fog had lifted and I was in a better space um, to take care of the situation. So yes, it was a big bloody mess in the toilet and I, but I do remember giving it a really good wash. There's my truthful moment. The disc worked. I actually may use it again um, because it was so successful for me and really had no issues whatsoever with any discomfort, no leaks. Um, you know, I did have that issue with a bowel movement, but it sort of fixed itself. That was really the only negative other than dropping it in the toilet, which was totally my bad. Unfortunately, Nixit isn't the disc that I hoped it was for my body. Other discs I found very difficult to wear because they were painful, especially during removal. However, with the Nixit, I had a different problem in that I couldn't actually get it in. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the new Nixit or just give this video a like. It's always helpful.
And if you are not a part of our community, look for us on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. What's that? I didn't hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I'm so tired. Anything else, anything else?